Hello, in this A-Frame Web VR tutorial, we're going to take a look, look at lighting because at the moment this is what our scene and object look like, but we're going to add some lighting so it looks different and once you start adding objects, the objects will cast lighting onto the other objects in the scene. I recommend doing that, adding more lighting as an extra task, adding more objects, positioning them, them differently, positioning the lights in a different location to help you learn. So what we're going to do first of all from the previous video let's get rid of this script method and I'm going to re-enable this make sure it's all working and we haven't messed anything up boom working let's just make sure there's no errors in the console well I do like that <laughs> as it's changing does it look quite cool so that looks all good to me let's go back and what we're going to do is create some lights after the camera so we're going to do a dash light and for the type we're going to make it a spotlight i'll explain the difference in a moment between the different type of lights color if you're coming from an open geo background you probably already know or a web geo background for that matter for this we're going to put fs0000 so it's red for the position we're going to put it as negative 20, 0, and 0. Look at equals a dash box. So the light is going to be looking at the box. So that's a great way of. Because that's what a spotlight is. It looks, it shines. Oh, I'll just show you the different types of light so spotlight versus we want we're going to show you a point light as well after there are other types of lights as well but this is the thing is the different you can think of it like a cone sort of what you would have almost like basically you know spotlights that you have in movies when they shine on a particular moment like particular part in the scene and then a point light is just well light in every direction so what we're going to do, so this is another great way to see it as a spotlight, omnilight and directional light. And now let's go back. Look at that, it's fine. You could obviously use some some sort of ID or class recommend. I'm trying to put an ID in there as well, just to see what happens. And now what we're going to do, I'll save this and refresh, just to make sure it's all working. Go down and as you can see, we've got a red light on here and now what we're going to do let's try moving it a little closer to about 10 maybe refresh Ooh, it was yeah it was a little brighter so what we're going to do now i will do a dash light and for the type i'm going to do point light for the color, I'm going to do hash 00 ff 00, so that's fully green. For the position, I'm going to equal it to 050. Go back to the web browser, refresh. There you go, we got a mixture of a red and a green light system in our scene. So that's it for basic lighting. If you have any questions, Feel free to post them on our education platform, sonarlearning.co.uk. There'll be a link in the description to that and the source code from every video in the series. If you like the video, please give us a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and leave us a comment. If you didn't, leave us a comment as well because we encourage all sorts of comments. I'm probably going to regret saying that. And as usual, thank you for watching and happy lighting days.